What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to screen pump in Premiere Pro. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now for this I'm going to be using a soldier in the map quarry from Modern Warfare 2, I downloaded this cinematic off YouTube. The song I'm going to be using is Hover Boot 1 and it's non-copyrighted trap. So first of all I'm going to drag both of this into Premiere Pro. So I'm going to drag the soldier or the clip of the soldier into my timeline and this is what we have. He's running and he jumps out of the window and as soon as he jumps that's when I want the screen pump to happen so right there. For right now I'm going to split it by pressing C on my keyboard to bring up the razor tool and left clicking to make that split. Now you can keep this screen pump going on for the rest of the video but for me I'm going to stop it right here by left clicking this again with the razor tool then I'm going to press V on my keyboard to bring the move tool back. The next thing I'm going to drag and drop the music in and we're just going to find where it drops. Okay I found where it drops and now I'm going to split it right here. So I'm using the razor tool again by pressing C on my keyboard, I'm going to split it here before it drops, come to the move tool by pressing V on my keyboard and delete the part at the start and now I'm going to sync up this audio so when it drops it's going to, uh, that's where the screen pump is going to happen and as we know the screen pump is going to be this middle track here that we split out. So I'm just going to drag this and this will snap into place like that. I'm just going to drag left on the audio track. So now we have to build up to the song here as well. So let's play this through. There we go. And now it's time to make the screen pump. So we're going to left click on our video. We're going to come up here to the effects control. And this is what you're going to get. So for this we're going to be on scale. So make sure you select this which is toggling the animation. So right now all I'm going to do is press this button which is next to scale to lay down a keyframe. This is where you choose how fast you want this screen pump to be. For me I think going across 12 keyframes is going to work really good. It gives a nice smooth screen pump. So I'm going to do that for this tutorial. So I'm going to go across 12 and as you'll see this number 14 will go to 26. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're at 26 like I said and now we're just going to scale this up like so. Just zoom it in a bit. Then we're going to come across another 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And for this one where it says scale we're going to change this back to 100. So now as you'll see all it's going to do is going to zoom in and come back out. So let's play this through. As you can see like that. Now you want the screen pump to last longer for this entire track that we split out. So we're going to left click and drag and as you'll see they are now highlighted. So I'm going to press Control C on my keyboard to copy them. Then from this last keyframe right here that we created, I'm just going to zoom in to make sure we're actually on it. You have to be very accurate with this otherwise it will be obvious that you wasn't. So as you can see we are now on this keyframe. I'm going to come across another 12 and then I'm going to press Control V to paste these keyframes we just copied. Okay, so I've gone across 12, I'm going to press Ctrl V, as you can see it's pasted. And we do the exact same thing again. We come to the last keyframe we created, which is right here, and then we come across 12 keyframes, and again we're going to go back to 26. So we can just simply type it in here, as you can see it takes us to 26 like that, Ctrl V, and we just keep doing this until we get to the end of our track. And I believe that is now the end of the clip, so we can't go anymore. So let's play this from the beginning. And that is it. That is how you screen pump in uh, Premiere Pro. Now, as you notice, my screen pump was pretty slow. So if you want it to be quicker, then these keyframes you create at the start you need to bring them closer together. So the first three is what you need to change. Then you can just copy them and paste them in. So simply, uh, this of course was 12 keyframes. So if we want it to be seven or something, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we drag this keyframe back to here. Then we go to a seven again, which is gonna be 28, and we drag this keyframe back. Now from here, we would highlight these, press Control C, and then we do the exact same steps again, but this time not counting 12, we're going to count 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we're going to press Ctrl V and it pastes in like that. And you're going to keep going through like that and that will add a faster screen pump. So I'll show you that right now. I didn't add a lot of them, but we'll see. 
as you can see it was much faster and then it goes back to the normal screen pump which is pretty slow. But that is it for this tutorial, you can play around with the keyframes to match your needs for the screen pump. Like I said, the more spaced out the keyframes are, the longer the screen pump will be, the closer they are, then the shorter the screen pump will be or the faster it will be. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.